We have got Hardy on Pure Country at the CMA Awards. How you been? Good. Yeah? Yeah. You're going into this year, four nominations, which is really cool to see for the same song being nominated in so many different categories. Mm -hmm. Is this one extra special with it being the song that is getting so much recognition? Yeah. I, it's, it's Yes. Specifically, yes. Um, I've been saying that, but but just, you know, the this type of song traditionally these days maybe doesn't wouldn't seem like it would survive or be a hit or it's just really cool to see a song that is like the you know country music's foundation i think are songs like these i'm not yeah. putting this in that category but murder ballads and stuff and just to be able to get the notoriety and all that stuff and it to still kind of survive and thrive is so cool and it means a lot to me too i don't know it's just it's really cool and i'm i'm so proud of this song, and it's super cool to, to get the, the nominations specifically for this song. Yeah, for sure. And I, I mean, I remember when you released it and just you saying, like, you just hope that people, you know, hear it and want to, are moved by it. Yeah. And the fact that it's done that and so much more is yeah, really, yeah, yeah. really cool. Absolutely. Um, we got to talk about, of course, you know, the talk of the CMA Awards 2023 this year is the fact that you are going to be performing with Morgan Wallen and Post Malone yeah. and I remember it was like one of our first conversations when I asked you outside of country who's someone that you would want to work with at some point and Post Malone was your answer I like yeah. dug through my archives yesterday and I was like you you manifested that yeah 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 I guess so <laughs> um, how, how did that happen I I don't know <laughs> <laughs> I, um we my label and like his crew have been like had been friends and like I had also heard that he was a fan like he, he knew who I was right. and, you know he's not on socials or anything like that so we, like we haven't like chatted or anything and um, there is a, there is somewhat of an agenda with this performance that I can't talk about but it will all make sense okay. very very soon so there's a little bit of the political involvement but also like a, a, a thing of like you know we all we're all me Morgan and him are all fans of each other and and we actually got to hang out hang out a couple nights ago oh, and cool. just sort of break the ice which was extremely cool um so anyway I, at the end of the day I don't know how it all came together I'm just happy to be in the room and and uh was he as cool as you had hoped he'd be it, even cooler yeah it, oh, just that's the best that he's like just the hang was like immaculate. It was amazing. So cool. Well, we cannot wait to see the performance. Um, what's the thing you are looking forward to the most as we head into the end of the year? You want the real answer? Yeah, the uh, real, real, real. Being, being done. Being done. Yeah. yeah. I have. I have. My last show is in Biloxi, and I, I have a very long and I think much needed break coming up and as much as I love this I'm very excited to kind of just get back to being a husband and a, a son and just a dude and to be in town and and uh, write songs and write for my next record but I've had a very grindy fun but grindy grindy year and I'm just excited for a little break you deserve it thank you Big time. I know right. that's probably everybody's no, like what the yeah. hell but you that's, do. It is what it is. That's why we're heading into the holidays. That's so you right. can get some time yeah. off. Gain awesome. some weight, you You've know, do yeah. the whole thing. You've been working hard this year. All right, Hardy, thank you so much for joining us on Pure Country.